In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to partition Slackware 12 in a really simple way. Okay, from the live CD, once you boot it up, you're going to log in as root, and you're just going to type cfdisk to get into the disk manager. Once you're in there, you're going to need to create a swap partition. I have 128 megs of RAM in this particular box, so I'm going to make a swap partition of 256 megs. Okay, to do that, I'm going to use the right arrow to scroll over to new, hit enter. It's going to be a primary partition for HDA1, and we're just going to type in 256 and hit enter. This is going to be at the beginning of the disk, so hit enter again, and we're done with the swap space setup, except for one thing. Notice here the file system type says Linux. This needs to be changed to say Linux swap. So to do this, we're going to scroll over the type. You can either use the left or right arrows and then hit enter again. We want the type to be number 82, Linux swap. So press any key. It's normally highlighted if it's the first partition you make. But when you're changing types, so hit enter. And that's done. Okay, for the next partition, I'm going to use all of the space. This is going to become the root file system. So just press the down arrow, and then the right arrow to come over to the new, and then hit enter. This is also going to be primary partition, and this will be HDA2. So hit enter again. We're going to use all available space one more time. Okay, since this is the primary partition that we're going to install and it's on, this needs to be bootable. And that will show up on the flags once you click this bootable button with the enter key. Okay, now we're done with that. All we really need to do is write the partition to the disk. This is going to uh, destroy all data that may have been on the disk. If you started with a blank disk, I'm assuming there's nothing on there, but if you deleted other partitions, make sure you already want to do this. Okay. So hit enter and type yes. While that's right into the disk, I'd like to ask you to check out my blog at thelinuxblog.com for more tutorials. And you can scroll over now to the left and go to quit. Alright, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.